In my previous video, which is right over here, I walked you through the setup of how to mine Geonet. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using that same setup, but I'm also going to mine Fry. You can earn the Fry token using this setup, but you are going to need a couple extra things. You're going to need a splitter, a couple of these SMA cables, and you're also going to need this USB adapter uh, to split the connection and feed it to a PC. Now, the PC that I'm going to be using it's not a very powerful PC. This is a low-end Celeron PC. It has eight gigs of RAM and about 256 uh, gigs of disk space. So it doesn't need very much. And you can use an existing PC and just download the software and install it. I'm not gonna go through the entire thing all over again. If you wanna set up GeoNet, you can follow the video I put in the description below. And then you can continue with this video. In this video, we're gonna be dual mining with that setup and we're gonna be setting up this PC to mine the Fry token. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we install the software on here. We're also gonna get this USB dongle connected and make sure that is up and operational. I'll walk you through the setup right now, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna log into the PC right now, and here it is. So again, this is the USB adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. All right, so I just plugged it in, and you can see that it's been recognized. We can go ahead and now install the Fry software. We're at the fryfoundation.com website. We're gonna go ahead and download the software. We're gonna go up to Hardware Miner Resources, and under Downloads, we're gonna be selecting the Outdoor Satellite Miner. You can go ahead and click on that. Inside the Downloads page, we're gonna click on Click to Download. This will go ahead and download the software onto your computer. While that's downloading, the other thing that we wanna do is make sure that we have a wallet set up for this. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the shop section right over here. We're gonna be buying the BYOD license, which is right over here. And here's your wallet choices that's supported by the Fry Foundation. So you have DFly, Para, DAF, MyAlgo, and Wallet Connect. Wallet Connect is gonna open up the door to a lot of different wallets. I use Para Wallet and I set up a new wallet for every single miner that I install. I like that separation within Para Wallet with a new wallet address every single time uh, because more more rewards come through, I'm able to see which rewards are coming through for which device. And if something's offline, then you'll easily be able to determine that by the rewards not coming in. You're not gonna get paid if it's not online. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up a wallet over here. So one other thing I wanna do in here is add the asset. So I'm gonna click on the plus there. And then up here, I'm gonna search for fry. And now we just have to click on the plus to add the asset. Okay, and then we just need to click on approve. All right, so I have the QR code over here. I just wanna click on the scan QR button. So my wallet is now connected. I can go ahead and type in my email address and then we'll say pay for license. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I have at least $52.50 worth of Algo on my phone. And we also need the same amount in Fry. So you wanna make sure you have both of them in your wallet so you can purchase the BYOD license. Now, if you don't have any Fry or Algo, you can buy them on the Zagex Exchange. That's the exchange I use the most. All right, so I'm back on my desktop. I'm gonna go into my downloads folder and we get a prompt over here. Uh, it's not recognized by Windows Defender. We're gonna click on the more info button and then run anyway. Now we're gonna go through the setup wizard. I'm gonna leave as default. And, and now it also wants to install Node.js. So this is an install within an install. We'll go ahead and click on next. Okay, so Node.js is successfully installed. We'll click on finish. Now it wants to install uCenter2. This software is gonna allow us to use GNSS. We'll go ahead and install it. Okay, so now the installation is now complete and it's asking us for our secret phrase uh, with no commas. Now the secret phrase is gonna be the secret phrase from the new wallet that we just set up. This is another reason why I set up a completely new wallet for each miner. This secret phrase and this wallet is only for this miner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my secret phrase right now and click on okay. And that completes the installation. So we'll go ahead and click on finish. If you have any problems when you're installing the software, I've had some hiccups before. I've had some issues where it's crashed halfway through the installation and it doesn't complete the process. What I do is I uninstall the software and on that second attempt of installing it, it usually works with no issues. That's something to keep in mind if you have any problems. I'm gonna jump back to my screen here. We have uBlocks, I've registered an account, I've signed in, everything looks great. It's not getting a signal right now because I'm actually not physically connected to the antenna, but this part of the configuration is now complete. So the last step that we need to do is register our device and we're back at the Fry Foundation website. And what we're gonna do is go over here to BYOD Minor Resources to go down in the registration section and we're going to be do we're going to select the byod outdoor satellite so we're going to select that option and then we have to put in all the registration information that's required here so it's going to need your first name last name email address your algorand address this is going to be the new address that we just created you can go ahead and put that in here and then your byod license key so when you make the purchase for your byod license you'll be emailed a key so you can go ahead and then put that key here Okay, so now all my information is now entered in here. I can click on submit. 
and that is now complete. You can see it can take up to seven days for that registration to go through. Our computer is now set up and ready to start mining. The only thing we need to do right now is connect everything. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the Hyfix hardware. This is what I'm using to mine GeoNet. Now what I need to do is use this splitter. It's going to take the antenna connection, split it into two, and it's going to allow me to connect via USB to my PC. I'll provide links for all the hardware that I'm using. Here is the USB adapter. If you take a look at it, there's a little port on it. What we want to do is take the cable and we're just going to be plugging it in. It's just going to go on snug. You just have to press on it a little bit. And there we go. And the opposite end of this cable is going to be attached to the SMA cable, which is going to be attached to the splitter. And then we have this input. This is where my antenna cable is going to come in. And now we have two different connections connected to that antenna. We got one that's going to the USB adapter and the other one that's going to go to the high fix hardware. So we're up and running. We are now mining the GeoNet token and we're also mining the Fry token. So we're dual mining with this setup. The upfront cost isn't very much, but I'm going to link everything we used in the description below. I'll also include a link to my blog. So if you want to follow the steps on that step by step, it might be helpful. I've been talking to YouTuber Passive Crypto Mining. He was letting me know that we can actually triple mine with this setup. So I'm looking at Encoy right now. If you want me to go ahead and set that up as well, let me know in the comments below. Another deep in project that I'm looking at right now is called Wingbits. I've picked up the antenna. I'm looking at setting it up. If you would like a guide on how to do this, let me know in the comments below and I'll walk you through that as well. Once again, thank you for your support. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.